You know, our first guest for more than 200 episodes of The Goldbergs. After 10 seasons, they are saying goodbye. You can watch the final episodes of The Goldbergs Wednesday nights here on ABC. Please welcome Wendy McClendon Covey. <laughs> My spies told me you got emotional talking to Carol Burnett backstage, huh? Yeah. I did. Yeah. Her Majesty. <laughs> I, I did. I get. I got to say hello, and I mean. Is she your number one? She's the reason that I ever wanted to be funny. Is that right? Yeah. Wow. I used to watch her all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Did you tell her that, or, or is that too much I, to put on her? You know what? I vomited something at her. You I don't know what you said? Sense. I don't know. <laughs> Are you good She's meeting made... your comedy heroes? Or do you um, excel um, in that area? Or I'm no? very awkward. Uh -huh. And yeah. um, I, I don't like to inflict myself on people uh -huh. yeah. because I can be a lot when I get excited. <laughs> but, um, but she's the real deal. And I mean, yeah. honestly, you yeah. grew up watching her too, I did, right? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I mean, it was, you know, it was the, every, I felt like everyone watched. Yeah. And yeah. she just radiates happiness. Like she just radiates everything that's good in the world. And she would come out, right? Yeah. On her show. She would come out dressed to the nines and you know something really glam, and then and then she would go and be funny, and it was like that right there is everything. That's all I want to do when I grow up. Yeah, yeah. So, I think probably few people are. felt like that in the in the previous generation about Lucille Ball, and yes. then Carol Burnett was like our in our generation. Yeah. Have you met other of your comedy heroes? Um, I have, and I've met some of my musical heroes. Oh too. yes, well you've had a lot of so. musical heroes on your show. Yeah, in your eighties, the eighties. Uh, like, oh, you had Rick Springfield on the we show. We had Rick Springfield. Uh -huh. I mean, yeah, come He's... on. That was. I know. I kept like sneaking glances at him. I hope he didn't think I was a weirdo. I'm but sure he I, gets I have, that regularly. Was like, is this happening? You know what? I saw him at Benny Hanna once years ago, and I was looking at him too. <laughs> <laughs> well, when you see people out in the wild, like Benny Hanna, you, Benny Hanna you gotta yeah. take a look. Yeah, yeah, but yeah you can't we've help had, it. Uh, we had Rick Springfield, um, Tommy Lee. Oh, Tommy Lee, Tommy yeah. Tommy Lee, who was hilarious. Um, Anthony Michael Hall, who's not a singer, but I love him. Oh, yeah? Um, Richard Marks. Oh, Richard Marks was yeah. on that. Yeah. So, I mean, it, that's been you such an Oates honor. You had Oates on the show, too, we right? We had John Oates. Oates, you had John yes. Oates. Yeah. But not Daryl Hall. No. 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 I bet you John Oates was like, I'm so happy to be doing something by myself for once. I think he was. I think he was very happy to be there. You guys have shot the final season already. You're not they still have. shooting, right? So was it uh, was it sad? Was it emotional? Were you happy to be done with it? Are you sick of those people? I love those people so much. Will you have a party to watch the show, the finale together? Um. I will probably have to call a nurse to come and sit with me. Oh, really? Because I, because I have never cried as much. Oh, here it comes, here it comes. Oh, you're gonna cry you're now about this? Oh, wow. No, Should I'm not. Should we get a nurse? No, I'm not. Guillermo, go put on a nurse's no, costume I'm, I'm and come be back. Fine. <laughs> no, did, but it, it's been so emotional, and I love everybody. Did you take everybody. a memento, something that you will cherish that you you had your eye well, on? Well, I kept, I did keep my wig because who's gonna, who wants that? Right. Um, and I kept a sweater that was made uh, by our costume department that's, that says, "I'm so flappy," and uh -huh. it's a duck smiling with human teeth. And it's so <laughs> weird that I just thought. Th yeah, that I want. But our <laughs> amazing costume designer, she sent home a bag of goodies for me uh -huh. earlier. And one of the things is um, a quilt. And it had, um, here it comes again, <laughs> one of George Siegel's sweatshirts. <laughs> <laughs> That's the weirdest thing I've ever heard anyone <laughs> cry about. I know, but he's not with us anymore. Right, right. But his sweatshirts are. Yes. Yeah. <laughs>
and they're and with I'll you. And I'll be schnotzing all over in sweatshirts <laughs> when, when the time comes. But Hold anyway, yes, I'm you, upset. Let me get you a tissue if I can find one here. All right, there you go. Thank you. You're oh. welcome. I also want to show, I know it's... you're an art collector, and this is... Oh, thank this, you, I yes. like this idea because you have in your, um, in your bathroom, you have well, like a little museum, right? Yes, um, we have two big bathrooms that are dedicated to crap. <laughs> no pun intended. But I collect horrible art. Mm -hmm. And we have, so one bathroom is the portraits and one is the animals. And this pretty lady, mm -hmm. uh, I must have paid at least $7 for her and I can't <laughs> replace her at, at that price. This is not you know. anybody you know? No, I don't know who it is. Where um, did you get this, do you remember? Uh, it must have been a garage sale. Yeah. But um, I stole this idea from a place called the Museum of Bad Art which is a place. Yeah, I've heard of that place, Boston. yeah. So yeah. Um, my husband and I, we are always on the lookout for the weirdest portraits we can find. And see, obviously the artist had some skill, but they yeah. couldn't do hands. Oh. So they just said, forget it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Forget it. We'll or maybe just she had an accident. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> but they bring me no end of happiness. Here's Shakespeare. Oh. Bitchy Shakespeare. Yeah, it's like a mousy. He's like. Like, to be or not to be. You know what this looks like? This looks like an episode of Alice where Linda Lavin dressed up as Shakespeare. <laughs> the references are very fresh. Yes. Um, um, this but, is what okay. or who? She's one of my favorites. That's pretty because, good. Yeah, it's not a bad portrait, but it looks like she smelt it and she dealt it. <laughs> because she's got a very... She's got a very guilty look on her face, right? Yeah. So every time I look at her, I'm laughing. And, but somewhat so accusatory. Guilty. Yeah, this yeah. is great for the bathroom, this yeah, one. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. And she's staring right at you while and you're sitting there. Finally, and finally, this... this is quite a masterpiece. Yeah. This is. Clearly, okay, there, there is some talent there. You can tell it's a lady in a bikini, right? Yeah, yeah. But there's something with the perspective. Yeah, well, the hand and, is... the, and the hand <laughs> transplant that she got. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, the hand uh, is... Right in here. Yeah, and then this whole... Something yeah. is askew. Yeah, it's like maybe there was... Yeah, they, the, this is where they started drinking. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, we have a whole um, bathroom oh, of, wow. of uglies. I call well, them my uglies. Come and look at my uglies. Well, I love that. I really... I like that. And how many paintings in all do you have in the bathroom? Oh, probably 30 right now. Oh, all yeah. right. Well, if, yeah. you know what? If, Come join us. You know what we'll Come do? We'll, we'll put your home address on our website, and then if people have stuff they want to send you, I, we can just send it right I'd to your home. I love you for doing it. <laughs> I love you for doing it. Yeah. Well, congratulations on <laughs> two hundred more than 200 episodes of this show. It's unbelievable. It feels like it went by like that. The final season of The Goldbergs, Wednesday nights here on ABC. And you can see Wendy in a very, in an excellent movie called Paint, which is in theaters now. Wendy McClendon-Covey, everybody, will be back with the time.